What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for some breaking news here for you guys in regards to Black Ops 2024, plus some other surprise reports that we did not expect. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and during today's episode of the Bombshell Podcast, several different bombshells were revealed live on stream, which we got to break down and give a raw reaction to. If you want to check out that podcast, linked down below. You can always watch every episode of Bombshell in the public Bombshell playlist here on the main channel. But for those that missed that episode or just want some more thorough investigation into some of these reports stay tuned here within this video for an even bigger breakdown you can refer to timestamps down below if you want to skip to a specific topic but there's been so much to cover when it comes to our season three launch as of a couple of days ago i've posted many previous videos over the last couple of days hopefully check them out hopefully you found them helpful but i have even more coverage coming up over the course of this weekend so definitely don't go anywhere but on top of that that native is about to go ahead and release a couple of news roundup articles on the website and there will also be several tweets to coincide with those articles and you'll be seeing all that beginning I want to say this weekend. It's like I mentioned before, I was waiting until a little bit closer to the summer and closer to season four-ish before really kicking off some more Black Ops style coverage as you get ready for Treyarch's next premium title. I've had a blast covering Modern Warfare 3, but it's about to be Black Ops season, baby. So here's what I want to mention first. With the release of Rebirth Island as of a couple of days ago, there have been several hints planted in the map, which do give us an idea that Perseus still has some presence somewhere in modern day. Although we saw Perseus still in charge of Rebirth during Rebirth Reinforced from Vanguard's life cycle, that was a couple of years prior to the events of the current rebirth where Coney has now taken over. Apparently, there is some type of intel that you can find around the map that gives us hints that Coney is being contacted by an unknown source. That's probably Perseus, if I had to guess. On top of that, an Easter egg that hasn't been fully covered or solved just yet, to my understanding, involves finding different key cards. Vickers key card, that's Stitch's actual name, the Perseus key card, and the Forgotten key card, right? I already found the Forgotten one myself in a match of rebirth, but I'm not really sure if the other ones got discovered yet. If they did, I'll make a follow-up video to this one talking about what those rewards are for finding all three key cards, but they brought that back from Rebirth Reinforced. So there are definitely some hints that Perseus is still somewhere looming in the Call of Duty universe, and that could be explored a little bit in Black Ops 2024, which takes place in the 90s. Maybe it kind of sets up or explains what happens to Perseus eventually or could tease it somehow. But we do have a Call of Duty apparently coming out in 2025, which takes place in the future. So if that's like a Black Ops 2 follow-up, maybe we'll also end up getting some continuation to these teasers we're getting between Cone and Perseus that we're getting in what the year 2023 2024 in the current timeline here's some dates you also need to remember so as of right now to our understanding season three reloaded is going to be on May 1st not that far away from now at all but that would mean according to the in-game battle pass timer season four should be kicking off on May 29th that's of course a Wednesday as we always get seasonal updates on Wednesdays so with that in mind May 22nd should be the roadmap and blog post reveal for our fourth season which could also be when we end up getting a teaser with that marketing as to when a Black Ops reveal event could be. Like I mentioned before on the previous podcast, Black Ops 4 is another Call of Duty that came out in October and Treyarch's new game coming out this year is rumored to come out in October as well. So it's possible like with BO4, we get an early title announcement or some acknowledgement of the game in like April, May. Then we get a full global reveal just before the summer. And then throughout the summer, we get more and more information. Could be different from previous years where we had to wait quite a while to get an in-game Warzone reveal event. We'll probably still get that this time, hopefully on Rebirth but I do think we're going to get a lot more information much sooner than that. And what do you know? It was confirmed today by Xbox that Sunday, June 9th, there will be an Xbox showcase event that will contain new details for Treyarch's brand new Call of Duty title. I'm not kidding. So since Microsoft took over Activision, it's not really a surprise that they're going to use the Xbox showcase events to probably go ahead and announce a lot of newer Call of Duty experiences, brand new titles, and who knows what other surprises. It's going to be crazy. It's on a Sunday, so that's cool that we all get to just kick back and react to it live on stream on the weekend. It's not going to be hectic during the week or anything while we're dealing with MW3 updates or school, work, whatever else you guys have going on. So that's going to be interesting. It'll be what is likely just a panel about Treyarch's new game. Could be a couple of key points about what will be featured in the game, how much it costs, when you could pre-order, when to expect the Wars and Reveal event, unless they end up doing something a little bit sooner than that, where maybe in the month of May with Season 4, maybe to even start the fourth season, we get a Reveal event in Warzone or some announcement somewhere and the Xbox Showcase event on June 9th is just additional information on top of that or even uh, some gameplay of one of the campaign missions maybe we'll get that much sooner even though Modern Warfare 3 as of right now is exceeding expectations for Activision they might be ready to just say hey Treyarch does have a brand new premium title they got four years of development maybe they're ready to talk about it now considering Microsoft just took over Activision they're probably ready to kind of cash in and make sure that their new Call of Duty gets off to a great start I'm really interested in what they're going to do here but here's something else I wanted to cover within this video so what I just mentioned a second ago about MW3 exceeding expectations that 
That's not a joke. So apparently, according to Forbes, Activision has confirmed for them that the player counts for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone are higher now than they were at this time last year. That was a statement sent to Forbes. Player engagement is up with more players playing now than this time last year. So I guess that's kind of a given when player feedback is listened to. They're going to go ahead and see better numbers. They're going to see more engagement, more interest overall in the content, in the seasonal updates, more players leveling up and buying bundles. That's probably a given. And I think as of now, it doesn't look like the Microsoft layoffs have impacted content to our understanding for Call of Duty and hopefully didn't impact Black Ops 2024 either. Heart goes out to all the men and women that unfortunately lost their positions. Fingers crossed they managed to find work as quick as possible. But I'm still curious if there are any consequences to those layoffs in terms of content. I'm really curious if Call of Duty did get impacted and we're going to see that towards the later half of Mono Over 3 cycle or even with Black Ops 2024. It's actually unknown right now. But on top of that as well, here's a really interesting bombshell that it doesn't really make sense to me. According to Insider Gaming, a source reached out to them, and this source is apparently somebody by the name of Brian Hong, who was a social media strategist for Activision, I think maybe prior? I don't know if he still currently is. If I can find more info about him, I'll pin a comment down below later on. But according to their source here, Call of Duty Vanguard sold 30 million copies. Now, I'm not saying that it's not out of the realm of possibility for even a game like Vanguard to sell that much, considering the pandemic was still kind of going on. There was a boost from that. The Warzone era was still pretty popular, although Caldera probably wasn't that well received. It probably still helped boost sales for the premium Call of Duty title at the time. What's weird about that, as I tweeted earlier, is that the data from before Modern Warfare 19 shows us that Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 from back in the day sold well over 30 million copies. You then go down the list, Black Ops 2, Ghost, BO3, Modern Warfare 2, 09, the list goes on. So you're telling me that Vanguard outperform those titles i just don't understand that maybe there was a misinterpretation with this info to where 30 million accounts for total downloads even during free trials not base games sold i don't know here but if you do additional research on some of the previous call of duty titles that have come out i know there's limited info out there and again we don't work for the studio we can't pull up this info ourselves but modern warfare 19 broke records MW2 apparently shattered those in terms of it being, I think, one of the fastest selling CODs. And we know during the pandemic, Cold War was in its prime. That apparently, I believe, outperformed Modern Warfare 19 in certain aspects. So think of those three games alone. You're going to say Vanguard outperformed those? I highly doubt that's the case. If an update is provided on this metric, I will pin a comment down below a little bit later and probably update an article over on Detonated. I just don't believe it. I believe there was misinterpretation somewhere about this unless the data that we currently have or the data that's available about some of the recent CODs like MW19, Cold War, MW2, maybe those games sold way more than 30 million. Maybe those games sold upwards of like 50 million. Who knows? Activision themselves said in a recent statement that Vanguard did not meet expectations in 2021, 2022. That game didn't perform well and has not been on the best-selling game charts you know, consistently month after month, like some of the other CODs have been, like MW19, Cold War, MW2, 3. Black Ops 3 is still breaking records. So where does Vanguard fit into that? I just don't get it, and I don't see it. But let me know all your thoughts down below on what you think is going on with that report about Vanguard. Either way, Black Ops season is ramping up. I cannot wait for Treyarch's new premium title. Marketing's probably going to kick off to some extent with Season 4. We'll get a lot of info. It's probably juicy on Sunday, June 9th. And then from that point forward, expect maybe a Warzone reveal event. And then we're going to start getting info about maybe an alpha, beta. There's that rumored early access to zombies thanks to Windows Central and their report about that information. There's a lot that's going to be happening this year. It's probably different from many previous Call of Duty titles. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this bombshell report in regards to Black Ops 2024? We have a new announcement or reveal date of some sort. We also have those weird reports about Vanguard selling 30 million. But hey, it's great news that MW3 has a really high and engaged player count because MW3 has set the staple for, or set the bar, I should say, for what COD should be when it comes to a live service game, right? The amount of updates, the marketing, the roadmaps, the, 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 the content spread. MW3 has really raised the bar that I think Cold War previously set. So if more CODs are going to be like MW3, that's a great thing. I think they're going to see higher and higher engagement as they communicate and listen more to the community, which means they're probably going to make more CODs like Modern Warfare 3. But with that being said, really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody. Thank you.